In this particular video, let's talk all about how to pick the perfect audio clip to create your own audiogram using Headliner. That's all coming up next. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today's video is brought to you by Headliner, uh, headliner.app. It is the application that I am using to create all of my audiograms whenever I create my own podcast. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, make sure that you do so. Go check out the application. It's headliner.app. The link is down in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can go over and check out their YouTube channel as well, and make sure you go on over and subscribe to them. So today we're talking about how to pick the perfect audio clip for your audiogram that you're about ready to make, all right? And there's going to be some things that we need to really focus on when it comes down to creating this clip. We need to have some tools available to us. Many of the tools, which pretty much you already have if you're already editing up a podcast itself. So uh, things that you're going to need are your audio editing program, uh, a pen or pencil, and some paper. And of course, you're going to have to have just a little bit of patience, all right? Now, when I was asked to do this type of video, I was asked, uh, can you take me through the exact process that you are you are using to create these audiograms and I thought I said yeah sure so what I'm going to be sharing with you is my particular process from the moment or the point in which I get the podcast fully recorded but I haven't edited anything and I go in and I start not only editing the podcast, but I'm also listening for clips that uh, that I, I think that would be a great audiogram to promote my podcast. So uh, all you need to do, like I said, is have a, a pen, paper, and you need to have uh, just a little bit of patience. Now, if you're using something like Audacity, I don't know if this function exists in Audacity, but I do know that in Audition, there is a certain function that I'll be talking about that will make the job so much easier easier. All right. So let's go ahead and let's talk about those steps real quick. And let's talk about my particular process. All right. So I'll get a piece of audio. I'll get that, that podcast that is ready to, that, that is raw. It's the raw audio. And I'll go through and I'll do a little bit of processing on it. Audio, uh, audio processing on that. But what I'll do is I will go in and I will start listening to the podcast itself. And when I listen to the podcast, um, I'm not only editing out ideas, but I'm also uh, marking points in the piece of audio in which I should maybe make that a particular audio clip. Not only is this very helpful for me, but it also helps me write out my show notes. So I'm killing many birds with one stone in this particular step that makes my job a lot easier. I really don't like going back and listening to audio multiple times, even though I do. But the uh, the less amount of times or the least amount of times that I have to listen to a piece of audio, the better, because it does take a lot of time to go through and edit out these podcasts. So let's go ahead and start first. And we're going to drag in a piece of audio that I have right here. And uh, we're going to really just start from the beginning. I've actually uh, clipped off the endings of this particular piece of audio so that it will fit into my format on my own particular podcast. So um, if you need to clip some endings and trim the endings, go ahead and do that in Audacity, Pro Tools, whatever you're using to edit out your podcast. Make sure you are doing that, all right? Now, the next step is, of course, to start listening to the piece of audio. Now, in this particular podcast, this was recorded back in 2017 at a concert venue, and I was using my iPhone, so the audio really isn't super great, but it's still audible enough for you to listen to, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Audition right here, and I'm going to show you kind of uh, what this looks like, all right? So what I typically do with my piece of audio is this is the full piece of audio. So if I'm on my mouse wheel, and I, I, uh, I'm, on my, I'm on a Mac right now, and if I zoom in, I'm going to start zooming in, and I'm going to take myself and swipe over to the uh, left, and I'm going to see that there's my piece of audio. And after I press space bar, then I can go ahead and go in and start listening to the piece of audio. So if I go in and I press space bar. How's everything going, man? Good. Yeah? Yeah, that's... real good. How's uh, how's the podcast going? Good, yeah, I got uh, Pete today from Sigma Doll. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, dude. So. So you'll hear that I'm editing uh, or that I'm listening to the piece of audio, right? Now, the one trick that you can now do in Audition, well, not that now that you can do, but the one, the one trick that I do in Audition is that when I'm listening to a piece of audio, I might hear a piece that 
is that could be a really great audiogram or it might be something that's really good for my uh, my show notes uh, later on down the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hit the letter M on my keyboard here, um, you know, behind the, the screen, and it's going to place a mark. Now, the mark is going to look like this right here, this little dotted line that you see right here. And this dotted line is actually the marker that you make. And of course, I make my own little show notes. So as you can see, I've made multiple marks in my pieces of audio, all right, or my piece of audio here. And these all help me get a gauge on which piece of audio could be a potential uh, great audiogram, or maybe it's just good for my show notes. Now, if you're not using Adobe Audition, you're going to have to take notes. You're going to have to write down time codes. So if I were to listen to this right here and I were to say, okay, well, at 8.13, if I were to go ahead and look right here on the time code, 8.13 uh, and 55, 8.13.55, that's where I want to start my my audiogram or I, that's where I want to make a mark. I would go ahead and press M and it places places a mark and as you can see here it placed a mark up here now the next thing that you need to do is you need to come on over here to markers and what I do is I go ahead and I click on markers and you can see here there are a bunch of markers that I've already placed but let's just go ahead and double click on this marker uh, there we go and we're going to say we'll just call this example example marker marker I'm doing this one-handed sorry and there it is now now I can go in and I can start listening to the rest of the podcast or I can say, all right, well, here's an example marker. Let's say this is the beginning uh, of, of an audio clip. All right. So we'll just say beginning or we'll just call it in because that's the point in which we want to start the podcast or start the audio clip or the audiogram. And then let's say we listened all the way to 830 and, you know, for the sake of example, we could press play and then listen, but we're just going to jump all the way, all the way over to 830 and I want to pr place another marker. So I'm going to press M again and it's going to place another mark. And let's say that this is going to be the outro of that particular clip itself. So I'm going to say, uh, double click example, m example, marker or out we'll just say out and then that would be my in and out point so between this point and this point I know that's what my audio clip and my audiogram is going to sound like that is the length uh, in which I'm going to create my audiogram now um, you do this through the entire uh, piece of audio and then of course if there are pieces that you need to edit out you're going to edit them out but as you can see I've gone ahead and in audition I have made so many different marker points that could be potential uh, audiograms or they are going to help me uh, recap I guess really what I talked about inside of this particular podcast itself now once I've gotten my clip and let's say I've gotten a clip that that really is going to be something that's going to be a uh, uh, an audiogram what I'm going to do and this is just safe for sake for example I'm going to start from the very beginning of the clip and I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to drag over let me move this little right there I'm going to highlight and drag over oops Oops, oh, I'm sorry, here we go, here we go. Highlight, drag over, and I'm gonna zoom out. Let me move out. And we're going to uh, say that this is the end, let's say this part is the end of the clip, right here, or the audiogram. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command C, and I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to start a brand new audio file, and we'll just say audiogram one, and then I'm going to paste it. Command V or Control V. And this is going to be my very first audiogram. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, save as, and I'm going to find a folder inside of my, wherever I, I house everything. In this case, we'll just say uh, it's in my audiogram folder right here. And then we're just going to say audiogram one. And I typically save them as MP3s. Um, and you can save them. Let's see here. We're going to save. And we're going to save them at a lower bit rate. So let's just say it's going to be about 96 kilobytes per second. And then we're going to go ahead and go boom. Done. done. And that's how I create my 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 audiograms. I just go through and I highlight, I copy and I paste, and then I have all these little audiogram bits that I'm going to uh, going to have ready to I guess create inside of the headliner app. All right. 
Now, like I said before, if you're using Audacity or some other audio editing program, maybe you're using uh, GarageBand, you are going to need to write these time codes down. So you're going to have to do it by hand. So make sure you got a notebook with plenty of space and you're writing them down. There are programs that out there that will do exactly the same thing like Audition will. This is why I use Audition because it just makes my job a lot easier. I don't have to use a lot of paper. And of course, I can just go in and I can highlight parts where I know are going to be uh, audiogram specific. Specific, okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this particular video if you have any questions Let me know down in the comments section down below right here on YouTube And I'd love to hear what you have to say uh, Or how you particularly particularly pick the perfect audiogram clip now. Oh before before I even go any further Let's just talk about uh, the perfect audiogram clip and what type of clip I'm picking Typically, it's something that is very revealing. It's a revealing piece of audio that the guest or you have seen said in your podcast and it's going to last for about let's say oh maybe it could be anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute the only reason that I say 30 seconds to a minute is because if I'm posting this out on Instagram I know that posts on Instagram only give you a minute so I'll do about a 30 second or to a, a minute long uh, post so I look for pieces of audio that are really 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 striking inside uh, while I'm listening to the podcast and making these markers inside of Adobe Audition you can do the exact same thing if you're writing down the time codes and just looking for those perfect, really telling and revealing quotes that your guest or you have said in your podcast. So we'll end it right there. Okay, now I can say if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down in the section below. And I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And of course, if this is your first time checking out this video and you haven't been exposed to my YouTube channel before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell button so that you can get notified as to when I drop another video. I've got a third video coming up on uh, Headliner and we'll go into the actual Headliner app itself and create our very first audiogram if this, you're new to this completely. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking to start a brand new podcast, don't forget to check out my essential equipment guide. The link is down in the description down below if you're trying to get into this podcasting game. In the meantime, have a good time, everyone. We'll see you next time.